then how to construct the trees now for example if you have hundreds of sequences right and how to construct the trees so there are various ways there are several ways to construct the trees so one of the foremost methods and the popular methods is the upgma this is unweighted pair group with arithmetic mean right this is why they simplified as upgma method it is very common method and you can easily understand how to construct the trees using upgma method it has a good understanding but it has some some issues some disadvantages so rectify that one there are several other methods have been proposed there is transform distance method neighbors relation method neighbor joining method maximum likelihood approaches and so on so they developed several approaches to construct trees so we'll see how to construct trees based on upgma and what are the principles used in the other types of methods so it is a statistical based method right so it requires the data to be connected or to be condensed to a genetic distance for example we you we can use dna sequences or you can see protein sequences so they look at these sequences and see how they are different from each other they calculate the distance right it's a statistical based method they use the statistics to analyze the data to construct the trees based on the distance so how do you think about the distance here in this case we have the, we know the uh, only the sequences a c c t g this is your sequence number 1 you can sequence number 2 you can see a g c a g so how do you calculate the distance between these two it is in the two dimensional case this is not the three dimensional one so in this case if you see how far they are different from each other so how far a is different from each other so what's the difference how many nucleotides are different this is same this is different this is same this is different this is same so here you can see the distance is 2 distance difference between a and b are 1 and 2 1 comma 2 this equal to 2 so for example if you take the species a b c d e four species right you put a b c okay in the b c d so you calculate the distance between a and b a and b let's put dab and a and c is dac and a and d is ad right this is same because b and b are the same so there is zero and b and c already we include here right so this way they put dash here so like b and c you can get here b and d and c and d so get the distance among all possibilities among the all possibilities you can get the number of mismatching sites and from this which two are close to each other the one with less less number of mismatching right so we'll show some examples and if then they are related for example if a and b are this is the closest one for example then you can say they are very close they have the similarities they are close to each other and then you can combine this group with c and d they use this equation to combine ab with c they take the ac plus bc by 2 because this is c they are combined so this is c is common because a and b they are combined so take this a and this b and take the average so then we will get the ab into c likewise you can do ab with d right so you can this a with d and b with d right and take the average so you get the abd now you can see the smallest ones then see which one which two are, are close to each other like we construct for everything and based on the number information based on the smallest distance we can construct a tree so now i have the this five sequences a b c d e right this is dna sequences for the five species a b c d and e now we need to construct a tree which parameter we have to calculate distance distance so how many distance you, you, you have to calculate distance between all possible a and b a and c a and d a and e like as b c B D B E C D N C, right? All the possibilities, right? A B B C A C okay. A C A D A E B C B D B E C D C E and D. We get the numbers. From this number. Which one or which two, which pair is close to each other? 
Yeah, based on the distance, right? For example, if it is A and B, so we take the sequence A and B, right? Compare these two sequences, and you can see number of mismatches, right? How many number of mismatches, right? So how many mismatches between A and B? Nine. Okay, I put nine. So if you see this, you can make this matrix A, B, C, D, and here B, C, D, E because five organisms. So A and B there are nine. Likewise, A and C mismatch is eight, and A and D is twelve, A and D is fifteen. So like B, C, B, D, B, E, and C, D, and C, right? And D. So between the D and E, if you see D and E, so there are five mismatches. One, two, three, four, five. So first five mismatches. So this is the closest. This is the lowest value. So from this, what can we infer? D and E are Closely. close to each other among all the combinations. This has the very low, the lowest number of mismatch. So you can see D and E are close to each other. So we put the D is here, E is here, and they are they are close to each other. We make first uh, branch we can make, and first node also we can make. This is the common node. So D and E are close to each other. Now what to do? We combine this D E with All other other species A, B, and C. So how to do this? We take the average, right? For example, if we see B and A, we don't make any changes because we need to combine D and E. So here we put the nine as it is, and we put the C, right? And the D and D we 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 have to calculate because B and C we don't touch. So if we take the D and D, twelve plus fifteen, what is the average? Thirteen point five. Thirteen point five, right? With respect to A and D and E with respect to B. 16.5 and here 11.5 right because we combine this d and e with respect to a with respect to b and with respect to c so now we get this matrix from this matrix which one is the lowest number 8 is the lowest one we have numbers 9 8 11 13.5 16.5 11.5 from this 8 is the lowest so what what do we infer from this one a and c are Close to each other, right? So you can see A and C are close to each other. Earlier we did this D, this E. Now from here we can see A and C are close to each other. Then what next? What we have to do? We have to combine this A C with others. So you put the A C here and the B and A C. D. Now we have three B, A C and D because A and C already we merged. D merged already. Then B is there, so you have the B, A, C, and D. So combine this okay, A, C with the B, right? A, C with the B. This is equal to ten because nine plus eleven equal to twenty, right? A plus B, C, right? So ten by two, this equal to ten. Then with the D to E, so twelve point five and sixteen point five. If you see here, this this is with A, A, we combine A and C. So take the average, thirteen point five and eleven point five. So this will be twelve point five. Here we don't touch because with the B, because we are doing with A C. So here this is equal to six point five. So from this matrix, now we constructed the next matrix. From this, which is the lowest one? Ten is the lowest one. So A C with the B. So we have the A C here, common A C, right? With the A C we can connect with the B. Right? We can go with this one. If we put like this, then you can see all the three are at the same line. This way, you put this line, and then this is related with the B. And then, if you, this is out, then the, the, these two will be the remaining. So then, D E and E C, the D E and E C are common to each other. Finally, you get the get the tree. So from this one, now we can construct a tree, right? D and E are close to each other. E and C are close to each other, and this E C is close to B, and this is close to D and D. E. So we can construct this graph. So when you have this graph, now we can easily tell. So which, which organisms they are close to each other. The next question is, how long it takes to evolve from one to other? So we have time frame. So can we able to estimate the time, right? Because we have some numbers. These numbers tell the number of mismatches. So with the with the number of mismatches, you can see very less mismatches. It took less time. If more number of mismatches. It takes time, right, to go from one organism to other organism. So now, okay, okay, now we see the length of the branches. We can calculate from the distance matrix. So how to calculate? 
this is a pairwise comparison we construct the matrix right this matrix is same as the one we derived here okay, this one right the same matrix now this is e and d is 5 we assume they were the same time if this branch is 5 then we divide this to 2 so each one will get 2.5 if it is d is here and the e is here this will take 2.5 and this will take 2.5 so we made this okay this is 2.5 and here this 2.5 now the next one if you take ac ac equal to 8 so if you can draw this a and c this equal to 8 you divide into 2 so you put 4 and 4 8 then ac with the b right ac with the b what is how much what is ac with the b it is 10 so already here we put 4 and 4 8 so the remaining 2 we give here for the b so total will be 10 then ac with the b equal to 10 and then totally if you see the a to e right this is 15 so we give this is 2.5 the rest we put here this is 12.5 plus 2.5 this equal to 15. So, we made this number then you, from this you can tell this evolved first because it is very close then this will take 4 and here it takes 6.5 from A C to D right from this you can estimate the time approximately from one organism to other organisms. This is the method you can easily construct trees right with simple statistics. So, what is the principle used in this CPGMA method? Distance, distance between the two sequences, how far they are uh, different based on that we can construct a tree. So, this is another method, this is called neighbor relation method. Here also it is similar to UPGA method, but this is the unrooted tree, right? And you can see in the UPGMA method, sometimes the number is not equal. For example, if you go from here to here if you add up these numbers as well as if you add the values here for example, a to e this is 15, but a to e if you add from here to here you will give the different number. In this case it is not able to exactly account some numbers. So, for that one to make a uh, correction in this method they put few more conditions right? they try to join all the neighbors not just join one by one they try to join different numbers and see the closest one which one is the minimum. So, they use that criteria to uh, develop this method. How to do this? It is an unrooted tree. So, A, B, A here, B here, C and D. So, here from A to B and C to D, this is not equal as A to C and B to D. So, added another line between these two that is E. For example, here this length is A and this length is b and this length is c and this length is d and they put additional length as e. So, if you see a c plus b d this one and this one right this is similar to a d plus b c you can give as a plus b plus c plus d plus 2 e that means a b plus c d and 2 e and here you can see the discrepancy between this UPG method and this method they consider this also into account. So, because of that this is the value you get from the UPG method. So, if you add up A E 19, but actual case it is 15 because this this is missing to take care of this uh, uh, conditions they made a 4 point conditions. If you put A B plus C D that should be less than A C plus B D right? because if you see here A B plus C D that should be less than uh, a c plus b d because we have this value e as well as a b plus c d this is also less than a d plus b c right here either we take this or you take this right that should be less. Okay, now, if you have different species they consider all the pairwise arrangements and put in such a way that they should uh, satisfy this 4 point condition right. Now, I have this one okay, for example, 4 species we have different values you can calculate a b plus c d and a c plus b d and a d plus b c and the smallest sum which can come close to each other that is 1 and others put 0. Then we repeat for all possible pairs and take the closest ones once with the highest score or the group and then from that groups you can calculate the UGPMA method to get the distance.
then along with the UPGB method they considered special conditions to derive these trees right. There is another method that is called neighbor joining method in this case instead of going one by one they make a star like tree. So, each species is connected and then see how far they can connect with each other regardless of this any of these numbers. So, the difference with other methods here you can see the sum of the branch lengths with each iteration process because we consider each one separately and finally, they try to see how which one has the closest distance. Based on that they derive this equation okay, this is a complicated equation but depending upon the distance to get what are the possible pairs which is connected to each other with respect to uh, the smallest distance. Once the smallest distance could find then they can use this uh, standard method to get the distance matrix as well as to get the trees. The simplest one is they try to utilize the information from different uh, species together then doing one by one. Then recently they have developed another method right whatever we use the EGP method we considered all the nucleotides all the amino acids with equal weightage right because what is the value number we use from UG, UPG method the distance. So, if it is A t A is change to t or A is change to c or A is change to g we take this one because we take only the mismatches. So, in the maximum likelihood method these are the statistical based method, but they give weightage for example, in the case of nucleotides right what are the weightage they give usually purine to purine. and pyramid into pyramid right they give some weightages and this is transitions in the transversions what is transversion pyramid into pyramid or vice versa in this case you give more penalty right. So, in the, the in the maximum likelihood method they try to give weightage to transitions and transversions. Likewise if you take the amino acids when you construct trees right they also use some sort of information for example, they can use a popular matrix which matrix per matrix or blossom matrix. So, you can see the similarities also they can also design a matrix right based on the physical chemical properties or the molecular weight right size. So, if you have the misalignment the alignment with the mismatches see similar residues or completely different residues they give weightage accordingly they can also develop a tree develop trees right. So, different ways to construct phylogenetic trees. So, in this case if there are multiple substitutions right may be independent or sometimes independent right that also we can we can take into consideration right. But to take all these aspects requires high computational power, but the current facilities it is possible to use all the information this is the reason initially they tried to develop a method with the simplest possible that is EPGMA method and with the availability of computational power they try to increase the complexities right. So, that we can if, we, if you increase the complexity you can get better performance, but performance you need to sacrifice in terms of time right. If you have, have more time you can add more time to analyze and you will better results. So, now is it possible to uh, construct trees by considering all these aspects. If you look into the literature there are so many methods available ok here I list up a set of methods. So, and Phileap is one of the most popular methods even currently it is a widely accepted method right for constructing trees and they will take few minutes to just demonstrate the functioning of this file lib how to do this. It is a program for constructing a phylogenetic tree for any given set of sequences if you get the DNA sequences or amino acid sequences it will create the phylogenetic tree. So, construct a phylogenetic tree so what is the input they require in this case we take the multiple sequence alignment we can we need at least three sequences we take the sequences and make the alignment right and use the alignment as input for constructing tree. How to get the multiple sequence alignment what are the methods commonly available to align the sequences using multiple sequence alignment cluster w currently cluster omega right mapped promons muscle and so on right. So, finally, automatically gets the information from mapped if you give the mapped alignment it will automatically take the alignment and then give you a tree is very easy. So, it is widely used to prepare the input file suitable for file if we use mapped there is an option to save the file in file format. So, you do not have to worry about the formatting run mapped save the multiple sequence alignment in 
file format and you can give this as input to the to run file. So, this is the home page format right. So, yeah, they have a download version as well as online version you can go to this website and then you can access mapped. If you like to use the online version just you go to the online version and give your sequence or okay, this is these are your sequences, but it will, auto, it will create your multiple sequence alignment right. So, if you do this it will ask for the conditions for the, the parameters which parameters you want right with aligned one you need the aligned ones. So, we need the aligned one you click here right and this amino acid sequence also here this is a uh, this is recommended if that less than 2200 sequences right we click that one depending upon your sequences and the refined data you need you can choose any of the settings. If you do this so now you can submit the data right it is asking for this alignment and the plot right. So, you ask for the matrix so we can use the blossom matrix right. So, when if you click on submit so you will uh, get the result this is a multiple sequence alignment. Now, the question is okay whether you need to reformat this or not right do you want to reformat it yes because we are we want to use this for file if right. So, you, you have a reformat option here right and you can use different formatting. So, if you use want to file if we can use file if currently mapped also includes to construct trees directly that is also possible, but if you use file if you format with the file if format. So, we do this right they will ask for the which file version you want based on the uh, the version if you submit then you can save the file this is the file format right this is different from the map format. So, these are the your sequences they are aligned for the file if right and you can save this right I can download the file right you can save the file now. So, you have the input file for file if now. Now, next one is you need to run file if to construct the trees. So, to run any of these programs and if you to check whether your results are significant or not for example, if you give 10 sequences it will construct a tree right and what will happen if there is a change right whether the program depends upon this sequences or also this different from the new set of sequences or completely randomized sequences because we have 10 sequences you will get a tree you completely randomize the sequence there also you get a tree right your tree is same as randomized tree or it is unique for your sequences if it is unique then what will you infer you are significant because you will get a unique uh, tree. So, that is good for only your sequences if your tree and the randomized tree are the same then what will you infer it is not same because it could be possible by random not exactly 1 and 2 are close to each other even if you take any random sequences 1 and 2 will be close to each other right. For this case they use a method called bootstrapping to increase the confidence level whether your uh, tree is confident or not. So, in statistics this is a computer based method to assess the measure of accuracy for any uh, analysis. So, what to do this is the practice of estimating the properties of the estimator because here we want to have the proper alignment such as its variance and so on from the sampling of independent data right you can have very several independent data right and from the sampling you see whether your data is significant or not. How to do this? So, you have the you do various empirical distribution for example, you can resample you construct large number of resampling for example, 100 times 1000 times 10,000 times you can resample the data and from this sample you construct the, construct the trees and compare for example, if you have 10 sequences if you align you will get 10 each sequence you can sample many times 100 times 1000 times you can take then from the pool you take any 10 and then and then again you construct do it for 1000 times and 10000 times and then see how many times you get the same two sequences are aligned together right if it is completely random you do not get you do not get any random distribution if two are really close related then always you get this close to each other I will show you how to do this. So, in this case first we have to do the bootstrapping. So, that is the here you can when you download file if and when you install file if you will get all these files. So, one is the bootstrapping method here this is your input file work one you saved in the previous one. So, you get this bootstrapping right it will ask for the input. So, how many replicates do you want because you have 10 sequences 
how many replicates you need to get for each sequence in 100 or 10,000, 1000, anything right, right. If you want, I will also ask for the different options. So, you have they give any weight or any characters or you can see the sequences which type, which type of settings you want, bootstrap or jackknife or whatever, right. Here you put the bootstrap. So, what the sampling procedure you do you want, right, is a regular sampling procedure and here replicates, right. If you want to accept, you put y, but if you want to change, just you can change, right. If you have y to accept, right, and type the letter for one to change, any, any letter you can change. If you want to change the replicates, you put r, right, then you will you can you put r, then you have changed the number of replicates. Whatever you want to change, put this letter, then accordingly you can change, fine. So, if you change the replicates, it accepts, right, then they ask for the random seed that is for the programming purpose, right. And finally, it will get if you put 10 replicates, it generates 10 replicates, okay, then the output is written in this file, right, okay, you can see this. Now, the output if you open the out file, it contains 10 replications. Okay, so here you can see a 10 replicates, right? The output contains 10 different sets of uh, each of your sequences. Right now, you have to use the method. Now you have the bootstrap for the bootstrapping. You you did the sampling and you get a lot of uh, replicates. Now there are different ways to get the tree, right? So one is the maximum likelihood. This is the one which considers the substitutions. So this is the promol. This is the program which can run for the maximum likelihood method. So, go with this one. So, the out, the out file we obtain from the bootstrapping, this can be the input to the promol. So, you do not have to do anything. So, run this one giving the input as this output out file. So, you can see this out file as input, then you can write the what the file name which one we need to save. So, you give the file name, right? Then again they ask for the same question whether you want to change anything. If you do not want to change, just you put y. So, if you want to change you can give the uh, letters appropriately and you can change. How many times you want to jumble this sequence again, right? So, you can also do that and finally, you can get these things, okay. They, they got the trees and they wrote in this out tree, this output. You can see here, right? File it is saved, okay. Now, you can have the tree and you can view the tree using this program called tree view. Right, this this you can work with this window system. So you go to tree view, open it, okay. Then then you open the file. You go to the open here, right? And here open this file name here. Out tree is a file name. If you open this, you will get the trees. So you got ten different cases. So you can see the trees. So this means which two are close to each other. Say so these two are close to each other, and these two are close to each other. These two are close to each other. These two are close to each other, and these two. Uh, these two and these two are again this is close to each other this line right so you can see the linear energy between among these different sequences now the question is how far you are confident that these two are close to each other so for this case you can go to the consensus tree right so go with this uh, work on consensus this is your file so finally if you give the files right finally you can get this uh, file work on consensus Right now, if you get the tree, this actual tree. So here is the option called recta, uh, rectangular cladogram. If you click on that, then it will get this with the numbers. So from this one, you can. What is the meaning of these different numbers? Right. What is the significance? This is a ten. We got ten options. Out of ten, you all the ten, you, these two are identical to each other. In this case, between these two, okay, the possibility is only fifty percent. Between these two, the possibility is hundred percent. So, he is more confident that these two are close to each other compared with these two are close to each other. Likewise, you have the numbers, this will tell you the closest sequences as well as how confident you can see that these two sequences are close to each other. So, in summarize, what did we discuss in this class? Consecutive trees, what is the meaning of tree? It will give you the information regarding right the relationship among the different sequences and how far the, uh, the time taken to evolve from one organism to different organisms right there are different ways to construct the trees what is the most, most common method right upgm method right what is the input for the upgm method sequences 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 which information they obtain from the sequence distance distance right they take the mismatches and use the mismatches they will construct trees there are like lot of other uh, methods also available for construct trees right and the maximum likelihood method is one of the most widely used methods because that uses the information regarding 
the, the characteristic of nucleotides or amino acids. What is the program we discuss to construct trees? Phi leaf, right? What is the input for the phi leaf? Multiple sequence alignment, you can use MAP to get multiple sequence alignment, right? And then you can uh, construct the trees, right? And you can also validate using bootstrapping method, right? Fine, right? So far, we discussed various aspects, for example, the sequence alignment, conservation, and the trees, and so on. Next classes, we will discuss about the different parameters or different properties or different features which can be derived from the amino acid sequences and how these features or the properties will be useful to understand the structure and function. Thank you very much.